All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham Yahabashai Bahasham Mohavaka Kodash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days, right? And to what Yahweh, to what Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, to what Yahweh, to what Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. This lesson gonna be a very, 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 very serious lesson, and this is basically gonna be concerning um something called monitoring, monitoring, right? and familiar spirits right because yeah it's something bro i've noticed yeah i've noticed it for a while i don't really entertain it because if you certain if you entertain demons then you start to amplify that particular situation so lord willing i haven't written down anything we're gonna find some scriptures pertaining to this topic right and Lord willing, we're going to be edified. When we go to, you know, when we go to Ephesians 6 and 11, it talks about, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And what's it? And spiritual what darkness in high places. So it's in high places, right? So it's in the heavens, though. Again, there's people that are not in the truth and they're on the left hand side. They're still in the world. And. A lot of the time, yeah, it's witches and it's people that have familiar spirits. And it can even be someone that you used to know. Could be anyone. Could be family. <sighs> could be a friend you used to hang with. It could just be nosy people. But it's still a monitoring spirit. It's a monitoring spirit. And what's its goal? Its goal is to what? Monitor you. Monitor your activity, right? And report, take the all back and report back to the devil. Whether it's a spiritual demon, Satan, or whether it's a handler. Most of the time it's a handler, right? And to spread that information to other people. Because even witches on the left hand side, they can even see if you have an anointing or a blessing. Or a particular purpose or a particular duty so us as the hopeful by that we have a duty and we have a purpose and we have a blessing that you have just given to us so the thing for the monitoring spirits their whole thing is based off a demonic network right that's what it is and they network together okay yeah they have phones they share information where is he going they're studying you. They're studying patterns. All right? So we're going to bring up scriptures and I want to go more in depth into this. All right? So let's go to Daniel's. All right? 4 and 13. I saw him in the visions of my, of my head. Upon my bed, I behold a watcher. So Dan, this is what Daniel saw. A watcher. And what's a watcher? A watcher is an angel, right? Okay. And the angels, yeah, they're on earth. They report everything that's being done. Right? So that's another reason why a monitoring spirit watches you. Remember, these are spirits on the left-hand side. Reporting back to Satan, the devil. Mostly, yes, witches. But not just witches. It could be anybody. Right? You may have some people that, um, you may even have some high school cronies that may say, you know what, let's try to hack into his device or so they can what? Track your activity, see what you're up to. That's some monitoring spirit. That's some monitoring, it's a, it's a wicked spirit. Behold a watcher and holy one came down 
from heaven. So this is referring to the angels came down from heaven. So the, what did the watchers do? They watched, they observe. Okay. <laughs> right? They observe what the activity upon earth, what you're doing. Okay. So we've established that in Daniel 4 and 13. And I want to go to Psalms, Baba Kishan. And this ain't um this ain't to push out no 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 it's not to push out fear doubt paranoia you have to be able to observe observe the enemy what the enemy's doing and once you know what it is who it is who's doing it bro you have to combat and Lord with him we're gonna go into all these things how to combat it how to deal with it go to Psalms 104 and 19 the Lord Jehovah shall have prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth ruleth over all so the heavenly father Yahweh and his son, they have a throne in the heavens. Right? And the kingdoms rule over all. Bless the Lord, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai. Yeah, he's angels that excel in strength. So they don't get tired. And they don't take breaks. But do his commandments, hearken unto the voice of his words. Bless ye the Lord, Yahweh all ye his hosts, the ministers of his that do his pleasure. So, even a monitoring spirit on the left hand side. Guess what? Yes, they're doing the pleasure of the Heavenly Father. Actually, actually, actually. Yeah, they're doing the pleasure of the Heavenly Father. But remember, these left-hand side spirits, these monitoring spirits, they're working for the devil. Right? They're reporting back to the devil. Right? And this is what's happening. Right? Trying to get your whereabouts, your next move. That's why I've always got to say as well, Yahweh says... Be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, and discretion. Go into Proverbs. That's why the scriptures talk about discretion. This is Proverbs 3, actually 2 and 10. When wisdom entereth into thy heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Verse 11. Discretion shall preserve thee. This is why we say, brothers, be discreet. Right? Be discreet when you're doing things. You don't need to let everybody know. And another thing as well, you may be a brother that talks loud. Well, if you talk loud, bro, you have monitoring spirits, right? Yeah, they listen, bro, they're listening to what you're saying, right? In your house, yeah, in your house, whether you're out, whether you're out on the field, they're listening to what you're saying. Have you ever wondered why when you're teaching, sometimes people may stop, right? Or act like they're on their phone, no. Bro, they're listening to what you're saying. And some people, they even walk past and they're recording it. Some people will walk past you like they're on, your, they're on their phone, have their phone to their ear. No, they're taking pictures of you. So they can send it back to a witch, right? Or try to lie about you. These things are happening. And that's why you have to put on the whole armor, right? Yeah, these are wicked spirits, right? I've seen it. I've been on, I've been on transport. I've seen people act like they're on their phone, but they're taking pictures of you and sending it around. But the law is going to destroy individuals like this. Remember, they're working for the left-hand side, right? I mean, their whole thing is to gather info, gather intel to, to Satan, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, when wisdom... Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. So part of discretion is being discreet. It's about to be discreet. Right? You're shouting out all your business. And you wonder why these people are in your business. Sometimes just talk lowly. Right? And if it does get to the point where it's different for different brothers, if you have to change your phone number, you change your phone number. If you have to change your SIM, change your SIM. If you have to change your phone, you change your phone. Because these are wicked ass spirits, right? They don't have good intent. Because if you're sincere, you'll come up, you'll ask a question, and you'll be watching in sincerity. There's some people that's been watching, right, for a long time, but they won't comment, they won't do none of that, right? They're, they're like cockroaches. But we you know Yahweh controls everything, right? But these are monitoring spirits. 
to deliver thee from the evil man. So you get delivered by using discretion. You don't put all your cards on the table, all right? From the man that speaketh forward things. So wisdom's able to del deliver you when you use discretion. Some people ask you, so uh, what was you what was you up to today? What was you doing today? You don't got to go into a full depth detail. You don't got to tell them nothing. You don't got to tell them nothing. These are monitoring spirits. Now there is people that are genuine that will ask questions, but there's other people they ask questions just to gather information. I've had that rubbish before. Oh, are you take people come up to you? Um, are you taking pictures? And it's been about two or three people that have said that before. This is a couple, few months ago. Are you taking pictures? The fuck is that to you? Uh, no, I'm not taking pictures. I'm recording myself. Are you taking pictures? These are monitoring spirits. Right? Evil spirit. Basically, demonically possessed people. Right? People that have an obsession. And an obsession, right, with the men of the Lord. It, that's demonic. That's demonic. Right, so we're gonna have to cut that off, and we're gonna go into scriptures as well how to deal with these spirits. Right, and it says, Who leave the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness? So, these people they're walking in darkness, right? Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the throwness of the wicked. So, these are evil people whose ways are crooked and they throw it in their paths to deliver thee from the strange woman, yeah, these witches and warlocks, even the stranger which flesh with her words. For which for sake of the guide of a youth which is description and forgetteth the covenant of her power. For her house inclineth unto death. And her path unto death. That's speaking about these different philosophies and these seducing spirits. And the reason why these monitoring spirits are sent to keep an eye on you. To see if they can divert your path. Remember, bro, they're trying to watch every single detail of your life. So they can see, look for a weakness and an opening. These are wicked spirits. That's the enemy. Because uh, the devil is not um, omnipresent, if that's the right word I'm using. He can't be everywhere. So he needs what? Network. He needs a network, right? Because he can't be everywhere. That's why he needs to hire these witches, these voodoo witches. Yeah, I notice you, you have a lot of West Africans following you as well. Vo voodoo ma magic. Bro, bro, you're just setting yourself up. And a lot of these people will call themselves churchgoers. No, you're not. You're a Satanist. You're a devil. Right? And the people that I see following me, some of them, bro, I get, you know, I notice certain faces. Bro, I just put curses up on them. That's all. I just put curses in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because this ain't no joke. I ain't got no time to uh, mess about. You want to be following another man that's trying to serve Yahweh Shai. I'm going to put curses up on you and your family. That you may learn... Not to come up against a man of the Lord. <laughs> it's simple as that. Right? It's an unhealthy obsession. Why don't you just go about your life? Right? But again, in terms of completely, completely, you not being monitored. Look, Yahweh Shai was, was monitored, right? Go to Luke. I think it's Luke. Let's just see if we can find it. Right. I forgot where it is. It talks about, oh, here it is, Luke 20. And 20. And they watched him and sent forth spies. Bro, that's a monitoring spirit. Who watched him? The Pharisees. And sent forth spies. So there were spies sent to who? Ramasiah. Yahabashai. Right, they were watching him because we know Yahweh Shai. Remember, he was the son of the Most High, the potential delivering souls. So, if you have that same attribute, bro, you're go we're going to be watched. Right, it go it's just as simple as that. Now, there is still things we can do, right, to bind that spirit, right, because remember. They have they have access. Bro, bro, monitoring spirits. We're looking for access. Right? And it says Baba Kashad, yeah, they're desperate. They're flipping desperate. Right? And you have we bro. A lot of things I've been seeing. A lot of things I've been seeing. You have people that, you know, 
park their cars around you, monitor you in these apartment buildings. But guess what? Guess what you can do to that apartment building? Bro, you can put a curse on it. You can put a curse on that, um, that apartment building <laughs> and the people inside it. You know, whoever's doing their wick wickedness, right? They have mirrors as well, right? That they look into to see what you're doing. Astral projection, right? But you know what you do with things like that? You cut that umbilical cord, you cut that umbilical cord of astral projection. You cut it. But I want to continue, Baba Kasha. And they watched them and sent forth spies. So even Yahweh was being monitored by the Pharisee, right? Which should feign themselves, feign, pretend, right? Feign themselves, just men that they might take hold of his words. So they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. So these were um, counterfeit, counterfeit men. They were not the real deal. That's why they had to feign themselves to be just men. So that means they were not just men. That means they were wicked. So same thing happened to Yahabashai. So it's nothing that we should be um, shaken up by. Right? It's just that so you're alert. The scripture says be circumspect. Redeem in the times because we know the days are evil. These are evil days. Right? They're evil days. Now there's, there's people that watch to learn. And bro, there's just people that watch to gather intel. Right? When you're leaving. When you leave, they leave. When you get back home, they get back home. Bro, you got to pay attention to what's going on around you. Right? So if you see these particular things and people doing certain things, you put up a prayer and curses against them. Alright? Yes, and their children that they have partaken in these particular things as well. Right? Because that's a demonic spirit. There's nothing righteous about it. And don't tell me there is because there's nothing righteous about a monitoring spirit. Alright? Nothing righteous about it. And a monitoring spirit goes hand in hand with a familiar spirit. Right? So the people that are doing this, they tend to have familiar spirits. Right? And yeah, bro, they're spreading intel to other people. Right? And that's why when you're on your laptop, they're looking at what you like, what you dislike, what you're watching. They're looking at all these things. Because it's monitoring spirits. Okay? And this is another reason they watch. Go to Psalms. Baba Kasha. This is Psalms 37. And. Give me just a minute. And 32. This is the wicked watch of the righteous. So it's letting us know. The wicked watch if the righteous. So they're wicked. Right? So they're wicked. Right? And seek if to slay him. Right? I heard some little gremlins yesterday shouting yesterday. Ah, we're watching you. Yeah, possess demons. Right? Because there's people that also get their their um their offspring involved in this rubbish as well. You actually know what you're doing. You know, see, you got to think before you do certain things, right? And some of these people do get paid. Remember, they get paid as well because they have handlers. Oh, would you keep an eye on him? So they get, some of them get paid to do it as well, right? To surveil you. The wicked watch of the righteous and seeketh to slay him, right? Seeketh. So you also got wicked spirits. They're seeking, they're waiting for an opportunity when you're down when you're at your lowest point, right? So they can try to come in, right? And work their wickedness. So we really, really got to be um, circumspect within this truth. Really circumspect, right? It's an obsession because they know you have the light. Because bro, 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 you ain't going if to, you're, if you're not about nothing, you ain't really going to have some, some, someone monitoring you. And sometimes, now there is a trick. I'm not going to say do it. You want to get people to, to stop watching you? Just don't do nothing. <laughs> just sit back all day. That will piss them off. Just sit back with your feet up all day. Uh, that would give them something to watch, innit? <laughs> and that would give them something to watch. Just put your feet up. All right? Act like you're not doing anything. When they get, over time, they get bored. But no, no, no. They're going to continue watching. 
because they're demons. That's what they've been sent to do, right? They've been sent by the devil himself to monitor, to watch, to gather information and to pass it on. That's what they're doing, right? That is what they're doing. Scripture says the wicked watch of the righteous and seek him to slay him. Right? A lot of these people are witch doctors, a lot of these people are traffickers, a lot of these people are organ traffickers as well. Right? Bro, all this is getting exposed, all of it. Right? C could be your neighbours, right? Some of your neighbours could get paid to watch you, you know? So that's why you have to be circumspect. Be careful what you're doing, how you're moving, what you're saying, right? Because they are watching, right? As soon as you switch on, they're watching, right? So I'm just thinking, is there anything else? Is there anything else per pertaining to this lesson? Because it's associated with um, what they're doing. It's associated with witchcraft. Monitoring spirits. Well, you know what? Go to Acts. Acts. Ah, you know what? Quickly go to Acts 16. We've got Acts 16 here. And we got another precept with that false prophet. What was his name? By 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 Jesus. I believe his name was by Jesus. It was a false prophet and he was trying to get the deputy, one of the deputies, to stop listening to, to Paul. Right? And he was made blinded. Right? I'm paraphrasing this. And guess what? Because he was trying to do that, he was trying to withhold people from listening. And that's another reason why you have um, these monitoring spirits. Because they don't want other people. They don't want you to wake up other people. That's why they're monitoring you. They don't want you to do that. Right? They want these people to be in bondage just like them. Right? So what do you do? Yeah, you put curses upon them. Or you um, do what Paul done. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Let's go to it. This is Acts. 13 and go straight to verse 6 and when they had gone through Iowa of Paphos they found a certain right, sorcerer a false prophet a Jew whose name was Bar Jesus which was the dep which was with the deputy of the country Sergius Paulus a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of the Most High but Elimaeus, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, right? Withstood them, right? Seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. So you had Elimaeus, right? Was trying to block the deputy from hearing this faith, right? So you have those spirits that try to do that. These are called hindering spirits. The monitoring spirit is associated with um, trying to hinder your walk within this truth. The monitoring spirit it tries to slow you down. That's, the, that's what a monitoring spirit is. It tries to slow down your walk. It tries to slow down your pro progression. That's what it tries to do. And it says, We've stood them seeking to turn away the deputy from their faith. So... He was trying to what? Seduce. And you even have them spirits today. They try to seduce you from your purpose. Right? They try to discourage. Right? And it's going to go into it. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, set his eyes on him. Right? So if you see, right, someone's trying to divert or seduce or try to hinder your walk, you set your eyes on them. I said, oh, oh, full of all subtlety, all mischief, and child of the devil. Child of the devil. Right? So you have those that are children of the devil. Right? Israelites. Our own people. Right? Though enemy of all righteousness. No, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. And a lot of, a lot of the people that are doing that as well, they're in churches. But because it doesn't fit with what they've been taught, they don't like it. Right, because they're, they're, they're still in bondage to what? So called white man. Right? They're still worshipping what? That Jesus, that white meat. 
so they don't like it. So they want to stop other people from hearing and get them woken up. Right? And that's why they have to watch your every move. Though enemy of all righteousness, would I not cease to pervert the rays, white rays of the Lord, you have a shy. And now, now, right? Check this out. And now, behold, the hand of the Lord, Jehovah is upon thee. Right? And thou shalt be blind. Put a curse on it. Right? Not seeing the sun for a season. So, what, what do we do? What do we do with a monitoring spirit? You pray for it to be blinded. To cut. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Cut that umbilical cord. Cut that umbilical cord. Cut that connection. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Yahweh, Shai. Cut that connection of that monitoring spirit or the monitoring spirits. Cut that connection. Cut that connection. Break it up. You know? Blind those with that monitoring spirit. Those that are watching the elect day and night. Right? Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Blind that monitoring spirit. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Blind that monitoring spirit. You know, for a season. It wasn't forever. It was for a season. Right? So others may see, right? And they may learn. Bro, it works. But you're going to have to keep praying, right? Constantly. Because monitoring spirits, remember, these are very, very stubborn, very stubborn spirits. Very stubborn, right? So, yeah, you can blind them, right? Not seeing the sun for a scene. And imme immediately, immediately fell on him a mist and, and a darkness. So, it happened straight away <laughs> because of Paul's levels of faith. It happened straight away. This man was blind. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha. And went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. So this man couldn't see. He needed someone to help him. Right? Walk. Okay? Then the deputy, when he saw that what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. So this was a faith booster. <laughs> For the deputy, the same individual that tried to stop him from hearing the word, he was made blind, which only what raised up his faith. So that individual who's used as example, so even these monitoring spirits, they're going to be used for an example of how not to be, <sighs> what not to do. All right. So that's another clue there. Yes, you can blind. You pray to Yahweh to blind, to maim. To injure, right? For a season, what? These monitoring spirits. Because they have no right to do what they're doing. Right? And their whole thing is to gain access. Right? That's their whole thing. Right? To gain access to your life. So they could try to divert your attention and block your blessing. Because you have a blessing. Right? You have a blessing. So that's, that's, that's their whole duty to try and um, bro block that blessing that you have. Okay? That's why they're monitoring you. Right? It's, it's, it's not for good purposes. Right? There's wicked intentions behind it. Right? And um, a lot of them also use astral projection, as I said. Right? And astral projection, what is it? It's known as the outer body experience, right? So there's people that come outside of their body to see what you're doing, right? And this also happens in different locations as well, right? It happens in Colombia, happens in Mexico, it happens all over the gaff. So astral projection is an outer body experience, right? That's what it is, right? An outer body experience. That's astral projection. Okay? When people come outside of their bodies, right? To to see what you're doing. So yeah, they can they can do that. Right? To to look at that's how they're able to see what goes on within your household as well. Right? That's how they're able to see what happens in your household. Right? Through astral projection. But I guess this, you know what's so dangerous? It's dangerous because the outer body of spirits, they've left their, they've left their body to go somewhere else. So what do you do? Yahabai Shem, Yahabashai, 
cut off the any um, astral projection that's been directed to me, my household. I cut it off in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Would you cut it off? I cut that connection between the astral projection and me. Cut it off. And guess what happens when you cut it off? People what? They can die. Because now you cut it off. You've cut that spirit off. You've cut that cord. Right? And that's why a lot of people die through astral projection. Because that spirit doesn't um, come back to them. They end up perishing. So don't for one minute think things ain't happening. Things are happening. Certain people that come up against you, they're getting judged. Right? They're getting judged. Right? Cut that spirit off immediately. You see it, you identify it, you cut it off. Right? You may see people, and I don't want to entertain it too much, you may see people parking outside the house, they're on the phone, they're monitoring you. They're monitoring, that's what it is, monitoring. Right? So you cut it off immediately. Right? And don't just pray once. It's not enough to pray once. Once you see it now, once you've identified it, you pray over it daily. Five times a day, you pray over that monitoring spirit. And watch things start to happen. And don't worry. Um, soon enough, they'll be gone. They will be gone. I'm telling you. It has worked. It does work. But you have to be consistent in prayer. Right? Excuse me just a minute. Go to Thessalonians. And I hope this is edifying. Right? Go to Thessalonians. Baba Kasha. Um, we're just seeing what we can find, what we can find, what we can find. The Drace has more out. Here we go. This is Thessalonians 5. Right? In 50. It says, See that none render evil for evil. Some may say, Oh, is that's evil what you're doing? That, that's not evil. See, see, you got to know when to apply and when not to apply. Because Paul. Even Paul put a curse on them. What's it, Tom? Alexander and Harmonius. Right? Alexander and Harmonius. Right? So we can do that. Right? All these, where are all these women coming from? <laughs> you got all these women popping out of the woodworks. Right? Maybe just a minute. Anyway, let me stay focused. Right? See that none render evil for evil unto any man. Right? But ever follow that which is good. Right? Ever follow that which is good. So now we can still, bro, we can render evil unto our enemies. Bro, if someone, bro, if someone's trying to do you physical harm in the spirit, you send that back. You can block it and you can send it back. Paul put curse on Harmonius and Alexander because they left him and they done him much evil. So we can do the same thing, right? We can do it, right? And what, what even, an, uh, what's it, Elijah? I can't, I, I, can I find that preset? Excuse me just a minute. Right, because sure, let me just pause this. Yeah, so lucky, I can't find it, but Elijah, remember when he was being mocked by them children? Yeah, children mocking him, said he was going up. What did they say to him? Go up, bald head. Go up, bald head. And what did Elijah do? Elijah turned back and cursed him in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And guess what happened shortly after? I think it what she bears, what's it, two she bears came out of the woods. And what? Mess <laughs> killed them children. Two she bears. So this is this is very, very, very serious stuff. And Elijah done that. I know it might sound extreme, right? Because they were calling him bald head, bald head. All right, so this this is serious, serious stuff. All right, you you may want to consider what you're doing. All right, so anyway, let's go back to Thessalonians, Baba Kasha. Five and sixteen. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. So prayer. You have to pray without ceasing. Because again, another thing. Yep. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You know, part of the monitoring spirits. Some of in Daniel's as well, it talked about that his prayer was withholding, right? One of his prayers were actually withholding from what? Something of Assyria, 
forgot how it goes. Just paraphrasing. So that happens where prayers are withholding. Okay? Withheld by Satan. So even monitoring spirits, can they hear you when you pray? Yes, they can. So that's why you've got to pray more. Let them know. Pray. Yeah, pray. Let them know that you're, 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 you're putting that curse, you're putting that prayer upon them. You've got to put that prayer upon them, that spirit, that individual. Right? So even our prayers, at times Satan would try to withhold them prayers because there's a what? There's a war in the spiritual realm. Right? Sometimes our prayer might take a bit longer to get to Yahweh Shai. Right? It says pray without ceasing. So non stop. Non stop, we're supposed to pray. Right? And everything give thanks. For this is the word of the Most High in Yahweh Shai concerning you. And everything. So always be grateful as well. Tawada. That's why I like to say Tawada Yahweh Shai. Verse 19, quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. You've had men say and otherwise. Right? Scripture, quench not the spirit. You don't don't quench it. <sighs> no. Do not quench the spirit. Teach as much as possible. Well, teach as much as possible. Do not quench the spirit. Okay? When you're quenching the spirit, I uh, nah. I just do it later, three hours, uh, do it later, the three hours gets to six hours, still haven't done anything, still haven't read, still haven't said, quench not the spirit. See, this is all making sense now. And I was around individuals, don't want to mention their names. I was bringing out these precepts and it's like, they had a problem with it. They had a problem with me telling them, no, we need to be more fervent for your house. Quench not the spirit. Don't kindle it. I'm kindling the spirit. But that's what happens if you're around um, Luke, lukewarm non-believers you're going to be quenching your spirit because of them right be fervent right because if you're around if you're a fervent brother no matter how fervent you are if you're around lukewarm individuals you're going to be in that tepid spirit it's going to rub off on you despise not prophesying if it's your thing to prophesy you prophesy prove all things right prove all things everything Hold fast to that which is good. Right? Hold fast to that which is good. Right? So you hold fast. Right? To that which is good. What's good? This word, the scriptures. That's what's good. Hold fast to it. Don't let no one take your crown. It tells you that in what? Revelations? Babakashah? See if we can find it. Let no man take thy crown. Revelations 2. Okay. This is Revelations 2 and 25. But that which we have which ye have already, hold fast till I come. So it's one thing having the truth now. You have it, right? We gotta hold fast. Until your Habashah comes back. Bro, you're holding something fast. You're holding it tight. Bro, you gotta hold this truth tight. Because I know, bro, it's exciting. It's the best feeling in the world. You have it now. But now you have to hold on to it. You have to hold on to that faith. Right? I always say this. It's one thing. Yeah, I woke up to the truth. I'm an Israelite, this and that. The, the promises, salvation. Yahweh Shai, new bodies, this, that. Now we have to hold on to it. That could be the difficult part. Right? <sighs> That could be the difficult part because now you have faith. Now you have the opposition. Those are going to try to mess your faith. And that monitoring spirit, that's what it tries to do. Right? A monitoring spirit is a familiar spirit. And you know what the scriptures tell us about that. Now let's go to Deuteronomy. Right? Let's see if we can find something. Because these people are being revealed. They think you don't see them. No, you see them. Just because you ain't mentioned anything, you ain't pointed them out directly. No, we see them. Deuteronomy 18. And go straight to verse 9. When thou art coming to the land which the Lord your power giveth thee, right? Thou shalt not learn to do of the abominations. Key thing. 
abominations, right? Because that's what they were doing. Abominations, right? These other nations of those nations. So you have, you know, you do not. I just want to. I just want to put this out there. You know, within the West African culture, the so-called West African culture. That so-called West African culture. It follows customs of the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hittites, Jebusites, and all those nations. If you look at the customs. Now, within the West African tradition, within Ghana, within um, Ashanti, and so forth, do they have a biblical custom one? Yeah, it's called circumcision, which they practice, but that's the main thing. But every other thing else, every other part of that culture, what is it? Every other part of that culture is heathenistic. So remember, they still practice a lot of heathenistic customs as well. They practice a lot of heathenistic customs in so-called West Africans, right? A lot of them dye their hair blonde, right? All right? And that goes back to what the Canaanites they would put their um, what's it? Their head up a, a cow's ass, right? And 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 their ha hair would turn blonde, which would be cow dung on the, upon their hair. Right, that's what they would do. We're not supposed to follow the customs of these other nations. And that's what they still do. That's why a lot of so-called West Africans, they're into ancestor worship. They're into voodoo. Right? See what you do. Working voodoo. Hire for the doo-doo. That's what they're doing. Working voodoo. Right? Now, we would use it in slavery. Because that was like the last... You know what? No. We didn't even, you didn't even need to do that. But we would use that in slavery to inflict um, harm upon the enemy. Right? But we didn't need to do that because really, if you were wise, you would just pray to your Habashai. Right? If you were really wise. So what these people are doing is left-hand-sided rubbish. It's ancestor worship. And that's the reason why we got jacked up. And when you go into ancestor worship, it ties in with familiar spirits. Spirits of the ancestors, the gods, you know? You watch out for someone as well. You're at camp. You're at camp and this guy is putting his hand up in the air. Yeah, to the spirits, the great... The Lord's going to fucking destroy you if you don't repent. Whoever this applies to, it applies to. Because you may be holding camp with certain men and they talk about the great spirits. What spirit... Bro, no, bro, there's one spirit. And that's the spirit of your Habashah, the comforter. So what spirits are you dealing with? Yeah, you come to find out you may have been laboring with certain men they were basically witches and warlocks and communicating with spirits. That's why you got to also have discernment and know who you're around. Because you might, you might be around a wizard, a warlock, someone that has completely wicked intentions. Right? And you can see when someone's into that as well because their mouth changes. Revelation 16, right? The spirit of devils, right? Working miracles, right? The false prophet, unclean spirits. And how do you know? Because they have a, their mouth is like the only thing that's mo the only part of their body that's moving is their mouth, <laughs> and that's them de that devil controlling your mouth. <laughs> that's what it is. So it's easy to identify an unclean spirit as well, and how it operates. And an unclean spirit also operates in the mouths of false prophets. It's called lying spirits. So we know when certain brothers do videos, oh, that's a great video. Some brothers are inspired by the devil. The devil gives them that lesson to do. I know it sounds far-fetched, but it's true. It's lying spirits. You could be in a camp and you could be around a camp of men. They all have lying spirits, right? They all have lying spirits. How do we know? Because when you go to Chronicles, it talks about Ahab and what? The king, who shall go what to persuade him? I've put a lying spirit in his mouth. You can go to that. But I want to finish this off. Deuteronomy 18 and 10. There shall not be found among you any that make his son or daughter to pass through the fire. Right? Or that he useth divination. Right? Because our people were doing that. Sacrificing on altars, their children. Right? And that useth divination. Divination. Or an observer of times. We're not supposed to do that. Right? We're not supposed to be practicing divination or observer of times. Or an enchanter or a witch. So divination, that goes out the window. Right? We're not supposed to be doing tarot cards. 
right? We're not supposed to. You want your palms red. You got a bright future. Well, I don't need to go to you to, to let, for you to let me know I have a bright future. I go to your Habashai to do that. Right? We're not supposed to do none of those things. We're not supposed to do no uja, uja board, right? None of that. We're supposed to stay far away from that. Because once you go into that, now you've just opened yourself up to the what the, the dark demonic realm, right? Or, or observer of times, because you have men they want to argue with you. Well, uh, the Native Americans they were observing drought, they were observing, yeah, the stars and so forth, right? But the moon is for seasons, right? And the sun, it's for what? The rising of the day. Right, Begin the right the beginning of the day, and the coming on of the sun is a new day, all right, which is evening. That's what it's for. It's not to worship. But you're gonna find that a lot of our people, and this this is the thing. This is why I always I don't have that spirit of um holier than nigh because you could act like you're holier than nigh, then Yahushua would just pull your card. Well, hold on, you're an idolater, but you're an idolater. That's why we always want to be humble in this truth. Because we all went off at one point. Or an enchanter. An enchanter, someone that enchants something over and over and over and over and over and over again in hoping that you would be what under that spell. That's what enchantment is. Right? A whole bunch of psycho babble. Right? Enchantment. Okay? And it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. So there's people that enchant in the hopes that you get taken by that. But it doesn't work if you don't buy into what they're saying. It don't work, does it? Right? Enchantment is a spell. That's what enchantment is. It's a spell. That's spoken over your life. And again, that's why pray is important. Right? You pray, Yahabai Shem, Yahab Shem. Those that are speaking evil or wickedness over my life. Or that if, if there's been anything that's been sent my way, that I'm not sure of Yahweh Shai, anything, Baba Kasha, would you send it back to his, um, would you return it back to his sender? Immediately, Baba Kasha, Yahweh Shai. If there's anything that's been sent me that I don't know about, that's what you do. That's what you do. All right? Spells, so um, enchantment spells, and it's consistency. So you may even, even individuals in this truth, right? They may go to a park or a dark area at night. And here it is. There be the same individuals that do lessons on, yeah, we got to be brotherly. And late at night, they be going outside, go to these parks or groves, because they're idolaters, and they be putting up curses. Now, can you put a curse on the brother in the faith? I personally, personally me, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that, right, when the scripture says, bless and curse not, that's referred to the brothers that are in the faith, even, even men that I know, even men that I know that are wicked in the, in the, in the faith, I haven't done that, I haven't done that, because they're still labouring, until they leave the faith, that's when I do it, the, the only time I've put a curse on an individual, is when he was a monk, when, not when he was amongst us, when he left, that's when I done it. Because that's when it was verified. So a lot of men, they don't even have no balance. They don't know how to um, exercise wisdom at all. Because I've seen it. I've, I've seen, I've been around men. The, the littlest thing that upsets them, put up curses, put up curses. Put up curses. Bro, you're carnal. Because you may have been a witch in the world, but... So when you come into the truth, you read um, about the curses you can put, then because you don't have no balance, you think that's acceptable. You've got to be careful what you're doing. Now you wonder why you can't do videos, why you're not efficient. And when you do videos, you, you're, you, you're moving like a reprobate. Because you may have been working evil towards another brother. And what goes round, you reap what you sow. Galatians. He that sow after the flesh shall reap of the flesh. He that sow after the spirit shall reap of the spirit. That's why you got to be careful how you're moving in this truth. That's why you got to be careful how you're moving in this truth. 
now the camera's on you. Now, and, um, now you have brothers that are camera shy, but there's a difference between being camera shy. I'm just moving with the spirit. There's a difference between being camera shy and not wanting to be on camera because you're wicked. There's a difference, right? Huge difference. A lot of brothers are camera shy. I'm even camera shy. But there's a difference between not wanting to be on camera because you're wicked and you're hiding something. Everything's going to get revealed. So whatever you hide, it's going to get revealed. Right? Or a charmer, right? Or a consulter with familiar spirits. So they're, they're those that will consult. Going back to the premise of this lesson is our monitoring spirits. Right? Monitoring spirits. What does it do? It consults with familiar spirits. It's trying to get information of your family, who's around you, what they're doing. You're trying to consult. Right? That's what you're trying to do. Right? And what's familiar spirits? You really want to um, break it up in a nutshell? It's idols. It's idolism. That's what it is. Right? Familiar spirits, monitoring spirits, it all goes back to idols. And what are idols? They're demons, right? They're principalities. What's a principality? It's a demon. That's what, <laughs> that's what it is. Okay? That's what a principality is. It's a demon. Right? That is attached to people through idols or a wizard so you have wizards out here and what do wizards do wizards do enchantments and sorcery and magic spells right or a necro monster what's a necro monster it's someone that communicates with the spirits of the dead dead people so if you're communicating with spirits of the dead that's an unclean spirit right you, really, you want to communicate with something that has life, not, not something that's dead. Because them spirits of the dead, they're lying to you. So when you do that, you corrupt yourself. right? You want to be a wizard, you end up corrupting yourself. And now your Havisha can't really deal with you on that level. Now, bro, can we repent? Yeah, of course, you can repent from those things. right? But you don't want to really be playing games. You want to repent from this, those things straight away. right? Straight away. So we went to that Baba Kishar. Verse 12, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord Jehovah. And because these abominations of the Lord, thy power, doth drive them out from before thee. What the other nations, they were driven out, right? Out of Canaan, because they were doing that, right? Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord Jehovah power. For these nations which thou shalt possess, hearken unto observe, observers of times. So it's given, it's given us an idea of what they were doing. They were doing that. And that, there's another word for that. It's called um, prognosticators. Right? Prognosticators. Right? And you've got men going into places where they shouldn't even be. Right? You've got people going to places they shouldn't even be. Right? Prognosticators. Right? So that's what a lot of our people are. Prognosticators. Okay. Which is witches. Prognosticators, someone a so-called fort a fortune teller. Right? Tell the future. Right? And there's a street, but where was it? That's called Prognosticator Street or something. I believe it's what? Hampstead Heath. And bro, why would you wanna what bro? Why would you wanna go to Hampstead Heath or park in Hampstead Heath? You know how many witches there is there? Right? And that place is actually associated with what? Uh, a lot of sex rings. Right? There's a lot of sex rings. There's a lot of uh, trafficking that happens in Hamel. Why would you... Out of all the places. Mm, all the places you want to go there. There's a lot of men that secretly, they're witches, they're warlocks. Right? They were them same uh, witches, them wicked kings, back here again today. Right? Because even certain locations have demonic... Every town has a particular spirit attached to it. A particular energy. That's why you've got to be careful what you're getting involved in. Or unto thy viners. But as for thee, the Lord your power, Yahweh, have not suffered thee so to do. 
So we're not supposed to be doing none of that rubbish. The Lord Jehovah, that power, will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee. So that's what he does. Raise up prophets of thy brethren like unto me, unto him you shall hearken. So you hearken to the prophets. We're not supposed to be going to tarot card readers, right? Getting your palms read. Go to the, um, what, Udra board, none, none of that. We're not supposed to be doing that, right? Supposed to be seeking Yahweh Shai. That's who we're supposed to be seeking, right? But in terms of those um, monitoring spirits, well, what do you do? Ephesians 10. Put on the whole armor that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So how do you block that defense? Go to Ephesians 6. I be, bro, I've been quoting the scripture every single day because it's my defense, that's why. Go to Ephesians 6, get straight to the point. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the monster that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about the truth and the breastplate of righteousness, which is a covering, right? And more. And your feet shod with the preparation of gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, where we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. The shield of faith. So when we're moving in faith, remember the monitoring spirit wants you to be stuck. And if you're stuck, it can monitor you even more. That monitoring spirit, it wants you to be in one place. So you put on the shield of faith. And when you put on that shield of faith, everything that they're throwing at you, it blocks, it rebounds, and it goes right back to them. It goes right back to them. All right? And it says, Baba Kishar. Maybe we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So that's how we're quenching them darts that are being shot at us. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Most High. Go into Hebrews. Right. Let's go into Hebrews. This is the sword of the spirit. Hebrews 4. And 12, for the word of the Most High is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, person, even dividing of soul and sunder. Right? Of soul and sunder. Right? And spirit and the joints of the mouth and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of hearts. So this word, if you if you don't have to apply it right when you're able to what do that right the intent right it goes into intent yeah this word is bro it searches like the intent of, of someone's heart their mind what they're thinking what they're plotting it does all of that it casts down strongholds right so this is the sword of the spirit right okay this is the sword of the spirit. We're able to cast down them strongholds. Because, like I said, you have a lot of monitoring spirits. As soon as you upload a video, you need to ask, well, why are people on their phones? Why are people got these headsets in? As soon as you do a video, why are people walking past? Because they're monitoring spirits that are sent by the devil. Right? That's why. Right? They're wicked ass spirits. Right? They listen to your conversation. Because they're thinking, oh, well, if we listen to him, maybe we can counter him. Bro, you ain't countering nothing. Right? But at the same time, it's a bit of a compliment because, all right, uh, they're, I don't know, they're interested. Well, me personally, we just live, live normal, so-called normal lives, you know. But obviously, for some reason, for some reason, they find your life more interesting. All right? Bear me just a minute. Let me just pause this. So that's how monitoring spirit, that's how they operate. Right? That's how they operate. Right? And it's, there's many of them. Right? Their whole thing is to gather as much information as possible. So they can try to counter attack what you're doing. And that's their whole thing. Right? Like I said, that's why when you go to one place, they have someone set up here, set up there. Sometimes they have someone pointing. You may have two people walking. They'll be pointing to diff two different directions. Where is he going to go? Is he going to go here? Because also they try to place bets on you. Or oh, is he going to do this? 
Well, these people are fucking low lives, man. Bro, they don't have no lives, right? So they have to watch yours, right? But I f hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought the elect were you, uh, according to you, were useless, right? <laughs> right? So, bro, why are you watching someone that's useless? So what does that make you? That makes you super useless, <laughs> right? Anyways, so this, this word, what does it do? It pierces even divine asunder of soul and spirit and the joints of the marrow and his discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. So this is what this word does. It discerns people's heart, their motives, and what they're up to. So this is the defense against what? Monitoring spirits and prayer. And I've got a prayer in the Hebrew that I want to bring out for brothers as well. Please read this. Two prayers. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, this hay fever <coughs> plays up from time to time. See if I can find this. Nope, I was supposed to write that down. I was sure I'd bring out that prayer. I bring it out. So yeah, we've got numbers. I've been reading this prayer a lot lately as well. A lot. Because I always say this, ultimately, if you're of the elect, no matter what gets sent your way, any evil words, your Habashai's got it anyway, but still, you don't want to be in that spirit world just because you're serving your Habashai, no prayer, no, you still pray, right? So I want to go to Numbers 23, right? 23, 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any, any divination against Israel so the scriptures clearly say there's no enchantment against the sons of Jacob and is there enchantment going on yes there is now Jacob represents Israel but this is speaking about now our people do get enchanted but those that are not opened up to the truth they're more liable to that enchantment right because they don't they don't see it right they don't see it so they're more liable to it but this is concerning the elect, okay? Neither is there any divination against Israel. Now we're going to read this in the Hebrew. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai, Kaya, La'a, Nakash, right? Ba, Yaquab, Wala, Fasam, Baya, Sharana. We're going to read that again in the Hebrew. Kaya, which means surely, la'a, no, nakash, means enchantment, baya, um, what's it, ba, yaquab, which means against Jacob, wala, kwasham, means a no divination, baya, sharala, means against Israel, those are of the elect, hopeful elect, there is no enchantment against the sons of Jacob, we have to push these prayers out, Right? Because there's a lot of things going on. Right? A lot of spiritual activity. Right? A lot of people being manipulated through AIA tech, all types of stuff going on. Right? There's a lot of people that want us to fall, want us to stop teaching, that are lying on you. Right? And so forth, that are trying to sabotage you. So what do we do? We stay prayed up. And that's our defense. Right? So with this, I hope this was edifying and I hope I gave you all the information you needed for, on what monitoring spirits and how they operate. So until the next one, Shalom.